If you're a quantity surveyor, you've most likely estimated or come across a provisional sum in a price. If you haven't, that's okay. By the end of this short video, you'll be a pro in understanding provisional sums. Before we start, if you're enjoying our videos or have found them useful in any way, please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification icon to get alerts every time we upload a new video. A provisional sum is an allowance, usually estimated by a QS or estimator, that is inserted into the tender documents for a specific element of the works that are not yet defined in enough detail for tenderers to accurately price. In other words, it's our best guess, and is usually included as a round figure. It is included in the overall contract price, but the parties do not expect the figure to be paid out without adjustment. The contract that is being used usually provides direction on how it should be dealt with. A common clause provides for the provisional sum to be omitted and an appropriate valuation of the work actually carried out to be substituted in for it. As provisional sums are replaced by valuations of the work actually done as the project progresses, the contract sum may increase or decrease. In addition, the actual works that are undertaken may affect the contractor's programming, planning, and pricing preliminaries. A provisional sum can be categorized in two ways, defined or undefined. Defined provisional sums are those that have been described in sufficient detail that the contractor is expected to make an allowance for them in their programming, planning, pricing, and preliminaries. The work may not be completely designed, but the following information may be known. 1. The nature and construction of the work. 2. How the work may impact the existing building or surroundings. 3. The quantities indicate the scope and extent of the work. And 4. Any specific limitations. Undefined provisional sums are less well described, as they refer to the work which is not completely designed. As such, the contractor cannot be expected to make an allowance for them in their programming, planning, and pricing of prelims. This means the contractor may be entitled to an extension of time or additional payments when the actual works are undertaken. With undefined provisional sums, the client typically bears the price and scheduling risks. Matrone, a commercial hub to your business.